29 million people in the United States are living with diabetes, and it can affect every part of your body. It also takes a toll on the health of your mouth. This viewer wants to know what to do about it. My name is Lisa, and I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes in 2013. Diabetes has affected many areas of my health, but I wasn't expecting the impact it's had on my teeth and gums. My gums can get very sensitive, swollen, and they sometimes bleed when I brush. I also started getting cavities, which I never had before diabetes. I would love to improve my oral health and teach my five-year-old daughter, Laurel, good habits she can carry into adulthood. Any tips for us? Improving oral health is connected to our overall health. And today, registered dental hygienist and Crest Smile Council member, Corrine Wilson is here to help address Lisa's question about her diabetes and oral hygiene and health. Welcome. Thank you. Hi, Corrine. So, Corrine, you. you've been at this a while and you're 21 years working alongside dentists. Have you noticed that patients with diabetes are more susceptible to gum disease? In fact, yes, I have. The research shows that diabetics are about two times more susceptible to gum disease. Here's why. If a diabetic person has poor glucose control, it can make them more susceptible to infections, resulting in a decreased ability to fight off bacteria that invades the gums. Mm -hmm. So, Corrine, what role would you say gums play in oral hygiene? I like to think about gum health as building a house. You need to start from the ground up and reinforce the foundation. Gums are the foundation of your total mouth health. If your gums aren't healthy, the rest of your mouth will not be healthy. You know, although this is true for everyone, people with diabetes like Lisa can be at even higher risk. So Corrine, how can you tell when a person's gums are unhealthy and need to be addressed? Lisa mentioned red, swollen, and bleeding gums. Those are the most common signs of gingivitis, which is a mild form of gum disease. Gingivitis is often caused by plaque, a film containing bacteria, which accumulates due to inadequate oral hygiene. Other factors that may contribute to gingivitis include having diabetes. And if left untreated, gingivitis can lead to periodontitis, which is a chronic inflammatory disease that can destroy gums and the tissues holding teeth, causing the teeth to actually fall out. So, Corrine, what can viewers, including those with diabetes, do to help prevent and treat gum disease? First of all, establish a really good oral care regimen. I mean, floss daily, see your dentist and dental hygienist at least once a year, and I like to recommend Crest Gum Detoxify Toothpaste. It neutralizes the plaque bacteria along the gum line and below the gum line, and also it has an activating cooling foam that actually helps to freshen breath. And when used twice daily, it is clinically proven to lead to healthier gums, and gingivitis patients showed reduced gum bleeding and inflammation. You can find it at Walgreens and walgreens.com. Corrine, thank you so much for those great yes. tips. So that everyone in our audience can get started on establishing an oral care regimen. You're all going home with Crest products and a $100 Walgreens gift card. Corrine, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Don't go away. We'll be right back.